Hey guys, welcome to Achievement Through Attitude TV. I'm your host and attitude coach and hopefully attitude adjuster Phil Stringer. This program is about getting your attitude adjusted. Or for some of you it might be finding an attitude that gets your motor running, gets your heart pumping. Uh, it's about the power of attitude and how the power of attitude will take you anywhere that you want to go in life. But hopefully what this show does is it inspires your attitudes to be amazing. Because the guests that we bring on this show, they share stories of what amazing attitudes can achieve. Today we're going to talk about an attitude of <clears throat> being selfless. Because when you are selfless, you are truly amazing. Uh, being selfless comes in, uh, in, in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. It doesn't depend on how much that you have or how much that you don't have. It's what you do with what you do have. Uh, it's about being able to check your ego. Uh, it's about being able to look out for the other person. It's about the whole, about the many, rather than just the one. It's about being able to lend somebody a hand and pick them up when they've, when they've fallen down. It's about being strong for those that don't have the strength. It's about providing a voice for those that, that struggle to find that voice. It's about letting people know that when there is a failure, a disappointment, or a setback, all that merely is is an opportunity, a stepping stone to greatness, to your dreams, to your aspirations, to your goals. Um, and, and today, the guest that I'm bringing on knows a lot about that. Uh, she is the director of the Hilton Head Celebrity Golf uh, Tournament. And what that tournament champions is 20 kids charities here in the low country uh, and, and their mission is to make sure that these kids have an opportunity to live a healthy happy and successful life so guys stay tuned to get your attitude adjusted with Kim Cape and next on achievement through attitude TV Hey everyone, welcome back to Achievement Through Attitude TV. Uh, guys, I just wanted to let you know if, if you know anyone that has an amazing attitude or an amazing story, please contact the station here or you can contact me at phil at achievementthroughattitude.com and, uh, and share those stories and maybe we can get you on the TV here to, uh, to share your, your amazing story. But today, guys, we're talking about an attitude of being selfless. And my guest today, Kim Capen, with the celebrity uh, uh, golf tournament here on the island, knows all about that. Kim, thanks for coming to the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate your time because mm -hmm. I know the tournament is right around the corner. And since you've walked in the door, your phone has been blowing up. But anyway, you know, tell me, for people that don't know you, let's talk a little bit about you. Okay. I know you don't like to, but come okay. on. Um, well, I've lived on the island for 28 years, and uh, I have three children, right. and uh, I you know, my job is the Hilton Head Island Celebrity Golf Tournament, mm -hmm. and it's a labor of love. It's a tough time this time of year, and uh, a big sacrifice for my children as well. Um, well, your kids get involved, right? I remember, was it last year, the kids go down and they, they help? They do. They do. They get a kick out of it once the time comes. They don't right. really like summer because mom's busy, but, right. uh, but they do. They're, they're now at the age where they really get into it. And now, what are the ages of the, of the kids? They, um, Patrick is 14, Joseph is 12, and Anna is 10. Right. And now... Uh, you know, as I touched on at the beginning of the show, that this golf tournament is about children's charities. And I know that, that uh, it's not Patrick that has as a diabetic. Patrick is diabetic, right. correct. He has juvenile then, diabetes, but... And, and that, you, you know, that's a, you uh, are a, a big advocate of that for him. Absolutely. And uh, I know that he still participates in sports and everything with that, right? He does. He plays tennis now, and he's doing very well. So it's, it's been a big lifestyle change, but uh, all in all, we discovered you, you live with it. So it's, right. you're, you don't die from diabetes. Right. You live with it. So right. he's doing very well. So the, the labor of love has been going on for thir 31 years? With 31 this years. This is our 31st year. And now, how long have you been involved with it? I've been involved, uh, I believe this is 16 years. Wow, I didn't realize that you've so, been with it that long. Mm -hmm. And now this is your second year as, uh, for driving the bus, right? Correct. Trying not to go <laughs> under the bus, but 
<laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know it is a challenge, but w you know we we fight for it every year because the children need it, and um, you know we benefit twenty local children's charities, and if you go out and listen to their stories individually. Um, you know, it, it makes us work even it, harder. It, it'll blow you away. You just, it gave me goosebumps when she just said that about, you know, you hear these kids' stories because the kids kind of get lost in the shuffle nowadays with everything that's going on, don't they? It, they do, and, and we, we actually met with uh, Shaw Chen from Hope Haven, and uh, Hope Haven is, um, serves abused children uh, here in the Low Country, and she, when she told us the story of um, that 170 children have been served so far this year, and that's right here in this uh, county, and we're talking, you know, just it's the small, average age is eight years old. For that, wow, eight years old. It really is, and and you know, she had a very good point. You know, she said that uh, children's needs can't wait for economic recovery, and you know, that, that, that's they our, can't. That's our future. It is. That's our future. Yeah. I it mean, is. Let alone, you know, I, when I read that the, that your guys, your basically your mission statement is about providing a, a healthy. Mm -hmm. and happy and successful life for these kids. I mean, in doing that, you know, they hopefully in the long run, they'll look out for us when we can't move around. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. Uh, you know, but you, you could be touching with, with these charities. You can be touching future leaders and maybe someone out there that has the cure for cancer, the, the next president, the next doctor, the next whatever. And that's why I think people lose sight of that sometimes, too, because, you know, it, it's hard to reach into your pocket right now and, and, and give. You know, we all have, you know, having having children, being a mom, and you know, your children have hopes and dreams and things that they want. And you know, I'm constantly telling mine, you you should see these children. You should see, you know, be thankful for what you have. Um, you know, we may not have as much as the next kid on at school, right. but there are a lot of children who have less. And ultimately, you know, that's that's the goal. Uh, these children, they all have hopes and dreams. Right. Oh, absolutely. Uh the, the Haven, is that a new, is that new to your circle? Of Hope Haven, now Hope Haven's been with us for a while um, and they coordinate services for abused children. Mm -hmm. They provide a forensic interviewer where if a child is abused, they don't have to tell their story to 20 different people. Right. You know, they, it's done in a child friendly environment um, and, and really coordinates the services that they need. And, and where are they located? I, I they, believe they have two places uh, on the are, island and, and in Beaufort. You know, we were talking before, and I, I saw uh, there was another unique uh, uh, charity on there where it's uh, Hero, Heroes. Heroes on Horseback. Yeah. What they, tell us a little bit about that. I thought that was very cool. It's a great group of volunteers. I mean, really, the horse community, um, they're quite generous, and, and they provide therapeutic services for um, lots of disabled, handicapped children. Now, and when you say the disabled, is it, I mean, are they... Uh, they win wheelchairs, they can't hear. They, they, they can be hear. physically disabled. Uh, I know that I think um, autistic children oh, wow. benefit from the services. Um, and it, it's just really neat to see how they interact and they'll come alive when they get on horseback. They have a remarkable video. But these children just really come alive when they when they get with the horses. Now you said they they do something with arts too with the horse. Do they paint? Or? They do. They talked about painting, letting the children paint a horse. And they just get very hands-on with the horses, and then they wash them, and it's very, it's very interesting. And now, where does this take place? What is it? They have a stable. They have a place off island. I believe it's near Pritchardville. Right. Wow, that, that, it just blows me away when I hear this because you know we get so caught up in what we do, you know, every day that you know. When I was when I talk about you know at the beginning of the show about doing small things, no matter what you know, if you give a million dollars, that's great. But you can hold a door for somebody and tell them to have a great day, and that's being selfless too, you know. And I know that you have a lot of volunteers that uh, that help you make this event go. We do. We have a, we have an incredible committee that work uh, tirelessly throughout the year to help put this thing oh, together. Wow, they work year round. They do. Know that. But, you know, they do. I mean, in different capacities and everything. Mm -hmm. But they, you know, our auction chairman has been working for months and. Um, you know, volunteers to come hang up posters for us. We have volunteers that do everything, but throughout that weekend, we have about 250 volunteers. We have people that take their vacations uh, and come here specifically to volunteer. Wow. We've had them come from Europe to come here and volunteer. You're kidding. Well, that's, no, uh, that's we awesome. Have, that's we have a lot of people that schedule their vacation, and great. when it's just, it's, it's their way of giving back, and we love that. Now, who helps you out at the office? I know you've got a right hand. Carol Cavanaugh. Carol Cavanaugh has uh, been working on the tournament for many years, and, and we kind of traded off for many years, and um, she's great. She's over there now probably pulling her hair out because I'm not, so. 
<laughs> I know. And I went in to talk to you. I'm like, can you please do this? And then she was like, yeah, you're open. Because yeah. we know that Kim doesn't like to be on TV, guys. So uh, that's why we got her on here. Yeah. Thank but, you, uh, yeah, No problem. But, yeah. um, guys, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the celebrities that come down. Uh, we're going to talk about the sponsors that are involved. So, guys, please stay tuned to Achievement Through Attitude TV to get your attitude adjusted with Kim Capen. Hey guys, welcome back to Achievement Through Attitude TV. Well, we're talking about an attitude of being selfless with the director of the Hilton Head Charity Golf or Celebrity Golf Tournament, Kim Capen. Kim, let's get uh, let's get right back into it and let's talk about uh, all the wonderful sponsors that uh, that make this program go. Well, it wouldn't work without sponsors, as as most charity events. Um, First and foremost, our golf courses, um, and we're actually having Greenwood Appreciation Day this year. They were really the founding sponsor of this tournament 31 years ago, oh, and okay. um, Greenwood Communities of Resorts, and we're playing there this year on Friday, okay. uh, September the 1st, and at Trent Jones, okay. and we're going to have our opening ceremonies, and Greenwood, it's, we've proclaimed it Greenwood Appreciation oh, Day, cool. so well, that's um, nice. it's going to be nice, and then Saturday, we're playing Colleton River for the first time. Uh, wow. The die course, and we're very honored that they're welcoming us out there, uh, hosting how'd you, us. How'd you maneuver that one? I, I got to ask. I can't okay. tell you. <laughs> it's a secret, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> I can't tell you. Uh, you know, this, these communities being very charitable, and they all want to help. That's great. And that's great. Sunday, Harbor Town, and we've played Harbor Town since really the beginning of the tournament, right. and you couldn't ask for better people to work with yeah. than than these courses right. and right. people. Um, and Hargrave, Hargrave Communications. You know, Hargrave is. They've supports. been involved with it for a while but also have they, they have and they're our presenting sponsor this year and you know they give back you, you really don't see an event on this island without seeing Hargrave's name so right. a company that that gives locally I feel strongly about supporting right so right. and it, we have a lot of other sponsorships we right. have a lot of smaller sponsorships and a lot of other people that help us out you know with the Westin is our host hotel okay so you know, that's like I said in the beginning, you know, you can hold a door for somebody and be selfless. You can tell somebody, God, you look great today. You know, so it doesn't, you don't have to be the big boy on the block right. to, to, to make a difference. You, you really don't. Uh, and and that's, what, that's why I love this. I was excited for you to come on the show today to talk about this because I know that it touches so many people's lives. Um, now, so let's talk about some of the celebrities that are coming or that have been here in the past or that are coming this year. We've, we've got some, you know, some people returning that are, that are great. Doug Flynn, um, mm -hmm. great, great guy um, from the Cincinnati Reds, and uh, Jim Huber, who's been here many years, and he's actually written a new book. He's going to be doing a book signing for us. Oh, cool. Um, and Peter Alexander from NBC News, he's okay. coming this year right. and was here last year. Rob Marciano, as long as the hurricane doesn't make him go somewhere else. Right. Well, hopefully um, that'll blow by us by the end of the week. Right, but if it, wherever it goes, <laughs> he may have to go, unfortunately. <laughs> I uh, was new coming in this year. We've got Terry O'Quinn, and okay. he was on Lost. Okay, yeah. And um, and now he's on Hawaii Five O. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's yeah. a great guy and a good cool. golfer, so we're really excited. Um, Jay DeMarcus and Joe Don Rooney from R Rascal Flats are both coming. Wow, so, that's pretty cool. It is. Cool. We're going to try to get them up there to do a little performing, or you, I don't you know. Kinda, you let them. I think we let them decide. So if if they want to, if they feel so moved. Um, right. You know, this is this is the anniversary of 9/11 this year, the 10-year right. anniversary, and and we have firefighters uh, who have been coming since 2002. I did. I had I had an opportunity through you to meet some of these amazing firefighters from New York City, so that was it was really cool. So. And well, they're returning, and um, they're a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. <laughs> they have they have a good time, but they're they're great. You know, really, when we invited them, we didn't want to you know, exploit them in any way. We right. wanted this exactly. to be a place for them to get away. And they've kind of become family. A lot of our sponsors uh, really would rather play with them than anyone else. Oh, so sure. it's it's fun. That's very cool. Um, Kim Alexis is coming. She's I know she is. Super well. <laughs> uh, you know where she is? She's coming this year. And uh, and her husband okay. is Ron Duguay, um, hockey player. Right. And um, just we just found out yesterday, Eric Casilius and um, Holly Saunders from the um, Golf Channel. From the Golf Channel, from the Morning Drive, they're coming. Very. very Gary Williams cool. was already coming, so now we've got all three of them here. That'll be awesome. It that'll will. Be, that'll be and, a good and that's time. new, so we're really excited about that. That'll be a good time. Now, um, 
is, is Ken Anderson, he's, does he help you guys? Ken Anderson stuff? does, you know, and, and he is such a wonderful man, mm -hmm. um, generous, generous man. He's playing in the, in the event, and we actually took him out to the Boys and Girls Club right. a few weeks ago, and we were filming a little video that we're going to mm -hmm. use during our weekend, right. and he came out, and his wife, Christy, and they're just mm -hmm. darling people, and they had gathered some of the kids from the Boys and Girls Club who were interested in football, and um, they, he brought his Super Bowl ring and his Vince Lombardi trophy wow. and passed it around and he went out and threw the ball with these kids and, and spoke to them and everything. It was, they were just thrilled. I'm sure. It, I'm it sure. was very fun. Actually, the adults who were there, we were all thrilled too. Oh, I'm sure jumping up and down in the background, right, for mm -hmm. the kids. It was very fun. It, it's, it's just amazing what this what this event does. I mean, 31 years, I, I believe you've raised over almost four million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. That's, uh, and we have, uh, you know, a couple other things going on this year. We have um, several celebrity chefs coming in. You know, Robert Irvine mm -hmm. is a big supporter of our event. Right. Um, and, you know, he's, he's all over the place right now. I mean, it, right. I've, I just saw a new, I don't know if it's a new show on Food Network where he goes in and, and redoes people's uh, restaurants mm -hmm. and basically gives them a new, a new lease on life, which I thought was cool because I know he's got the Eat over here, right? That's his He place. does. And he's actually having a wine dinner on, on one of the nights and invited all of our people wow. as his guests. So he's... You know, he's a good guy, and he's he's doing. We're doing a little version of Dinner Possible at our Saturday night function. So well, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, everybody needs to check our website. We may have some tickets to sell for that. Right, um, guys. The website uh, information should be on the, on the bottom of the screen. So if you guys have any questions or need more information, please go and check that out. Right, everything they would right. need to know would be. We'll all there. be on there. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm losing my train of thought right now, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> um, how is the money dispersed to these to these wonderful charities? They they go through an application process um, a year prior, and then the celeb all of the beneficiaries um, they provide volunteers throughout the weekend. So mm -hmm. when we have when when we have we don't do box lunches on the golf course. We right. grill out and we do uh, a whole big lunch okay. um, at separate locations, and they staff all of that so that the the sponsors see see them out there and and identify more with the charities and now a lot of the uh, a lot of the celebrities that come they 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 bring uh, memorabilia or, or autograph Absolutely, things yes and things like that and that's for the, the silent auction I believe on Saturday. we'll have well we'll we do a lot of things we do an online auction um, that oh, will actually that. yeah okay. we do a huge online auction that will go online and, and that's another way a lot of local businesses participate they donate things for our, our online auction and when does the online auction start? It will open right b the Wednesday before the tournament, and it will close the Wednesday after the tournament. Okay. Um, but they can also, they'll be able to access that through our website. We'll have a preview up in a couple of days. And then we'll have silent items that are only at the hotel and live items only at the hotel. But we have a lot of really, really neat things. I think um, Musa Muhammad has um, given us some first row seats with field passes and things like that wow, for, won't that be for a Panthers game. Mm -hmm. That would be, that'd be, a, that'd be a good... Uh, and a lot of other celebrity expense experiences, like a, a tour. You can tour CNN in Atlanta with um, Rob Marciano and really? Kara Phillips. Yep, things like that. Wow, wow. And I thought I knew a lot of things, guys, but I guess I don't. That's, so that's, uh, it's, that's amazing. It's fun. It's and amazing. and all, all of that, just pretty, all of that money goes to our bottom line for the children. Wow, wow. Well, good for you. Kim, I, I want to thank you on behalf of everybody because I'm sure you're going to be getting thank yous and everything for the next, I don't know, for the next year maybe. <laughs> but uh, I thank you for giving these kids an opportunity to, to have a better life, to have an opportunity to, to reach their goals and their dreams. Uh, and thank you for coming on Achievement Through Attitude TV because I know that you're very busy. Thank you. Thank you thank very, you very much. much. Good luck with everything, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Guys, remember, when you wake up in the morning, be selfless when your feet hit the floor because you'll be amazing. You'll have an opportunity to do something amazing. So never hang your head and never surrender. And we'll see you next week on Achievement Through Attitude to get your attitude adjusted. Have an amazing week, guys. Thank you.